Hey guys, Keishi Mars here. I am back with another skincare video. Based on the poll that I did on Instagram, a lot of you wanted to know my current skincare routine. So clearly I have makeup on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole shebang. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, the first product is from Pharmacies, their Green Clean Makeup Melting Balm. It's a balm which turns into an oil once you kind of massage it into your hands. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit. Um, massage it between my hands um, and then apply it all over it's amazing for that um, build up that we get on our skin while wearing makeup even with sunscreen even if you've been out all day and you feel like you just want to get like a nice cleanse and I feel like even if you're just home and you want to cleanse your skin at night time it's really effective for that I've actually noticed a little bit of a negative difference on my skin because I have been home and not wearing makeup as much so I don't use this um, often at all um, for the last two months but now I'm thinking that I'm gonna go back to it because cleansing your skin with an oil or like a cleansing oil or a balm at night it really keeps the skin at bay and keeps it clear um, so I would highly recommend adding something like that into your routine um, and my skincare type not skincare I mean my skin type is oily combination dehydrated and acne prone I get breakouts really easily Oh my god, look at that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add some water and just emulsify it with your hands. It's going to uh, become like a white froth and then take that right off. And then the next step would be the Caudalie Vino Pure Cleanser. Amazing for combination oily skin type. Never dries up my skin. It also contains some essential oils which we all know are so good for your health for your skin um, keeps the bacteria away from your skin and keeps it nourished um, and then i always like to uh, wipe my face off with a clean cloth instead of a towel it's just a lot more gentle um, and you know you're not putting bacteria on the skin and then the next step would be the peter thomas roth glycolic acid peel pads i would say this is like the most convenient easy way to do peel at home um, very gentle but it gives you amazing results especially if you're suffering from texture scarring and if you just want like a nice glow on the skin um, i feel like this really maintains my skin well and then after that i'm going to go ahead and um, use two different serums one is the niacinamide from ordinary niacinamide is amazing for texture on the skin and just keeping your skin um, glowy and smooth um, and then k somerville biomimicking peptides it mimics the peptides that we already have in our skin so it keeps our skin looking young um, and really good for preventative anti-aging as well since I'm 28 so I'm starting to really kind of get into more of that anti-aging action and I love doing that on my neck as well but just to keep it firm and then pat that in really well until it's all dried and patting that in really helps with blood circulation like stimulation of that and absorption better absorption of your products um, and then the next would be um, lip care and some eye care so i'm using the miracle worker lipstick um, not stick serum stick and then ula hendrickson vitamin c collagen banana bright eye cream amazing for dark circles hydration preventative anti-aging to fine lines and wrinkles and just pat that in with your ring finger really delicately because your eye area is the most delicate spot on your whole body as compared to your whole body so you want to be very delicate with it and then uh, the lip serum i just literally slather my lips with it um, i love the feeling of it it is so smooth um, helps with like filling in any sort of fine lines wrinkles on the lips and it's almost like a like a good plumper and then uh, last but not least i'm going to use the new nature moisturizer from philosophy really really good nutrient dense ingredients are um, in this moisturizer it is it is a little bit thicker but it's not heavy or greasy at all and i just like to dot it like that massage it in put it on the back of my hands because why not um, on the neck as well and it is going to help with nourishing the skin and just packing all of those ingredients into your skin sealing it in with the moisturizer and before you let it dry completely i'm going to go go ahead and use a couple of tools um, this is from Sephora collection. They're like little mini cute tools. It's almost like micro needling but with silicone petting. So it's actually even better for your skin because it does not hold on to bacteria. That's how silicone works. Make sure you don't put it on the breakout. 
Um, and yeah, so just kind of massage it all over. And then the next one is like a regular, um, almost like a jade roller, but it's not jade, it's just metal. It's really cool, so really good for, again, that blood circulation and just feels super relaxing on the skin. It's almost like your own spa at home. And then I'm going to actually go ahead and use a jade roller. It's a little bit bigger, so it's faster. Um, you can kind of cover a bigger space with it. And then I love doing that on my neck. Um, for that double chin action that's going on and to be honest as long as you're consistent with it it actually makes a difference i'm telling you from experience it will make a difference and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and pose a little bit um thank you so much guys for watching i truly really appreciate it uh please let me know what you guys think leave a feedback down below and see you soon bye